That's the sound of the police. <laughs> Boy, Tony Preckwinkle got that ass toe off. Man, oh man, that should be criminal. Somebody call the cops. Hey, congratulations to Mayor Lori Lightfoot. We have made history. You have made history twice in one night. Twice in one night. Being a black woman as mayor and a woman from the LGBT community. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? So kudos to you, Mayor Lightfoot. Now it's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. And I know they're, they're already saying that you've inherited a mess, which is true, which is true. You've inherited a mess, but we have a lot of work to do, okay? And when you look at this, in the state of Illinois, never in my wildest dreams, never in my lifetime would I thought that I would have seen so much um, black representation at key levels, at key levels. Now, amongst the nation, I think we're the most well represented as far as black folks in the nation here in Illinois. Nothing's getting done, but we're the most well represented here in the nation, I believe. So we have a black lieutenant governor, woman. We have a, uh, a treasurer, woman. County board president, woman, all black. We have a mayor, um, we have a black police superintendent. We um, think the president of the um, Metropolitan Water Reclamation District, black woman. All these are black women I'm speaking about, except for one. It's a black man, superintendent for the Chicago Police Department. And then we have heavy representation as it relates to city council, um, state reps, and state senators. Okay? Now, with all of that power, you would think it's showtime. I want to believe that it's showtime, but everybody has something to prove before you get invited to the barbecue, all right? And this is everybody, all right? Before we start giving invites to the barbecue and having people bring the potato salad, you gotta put in some work, okay? Now the city council and state reps and state senators, um, I have a vote of no confidence for all of you. I'm sorry. Vote of no confidence for all of you. All right. There needs to be sweeping. There needs to be a sweeping change. Okay. You need to stop telling people to vote and start telling people to run for office. All right. We need people to come in and get a new wave of people into those seats because uh, they have done absolutely nothing for our community. Okay. Um, as it relates to Mayor Lightfoot, black community. And hold on, let me say something. Now, with this strong representation, and, and did I mention a black state's attorney, Kim Fox? Um, but as it relates to the strong black representation in the city and the state of Illinois, I don't want anybody else to think that, oh, well, since they got such a strong representation that, you know, they're not going to take care of everybody else. They're not going to look at everybody else need, else's needs. Well, I can bet the ranch and I can assure you, I can probably guarantee you that that will not happen because historically, and it's just in black folks nature to make sure everyone is taken care of. Everyone is taken care of. Okay. And if you don't believe that, just look at history. Just look at history. We've made sure everybody was taken care of, okay? We just have a problem with taking care of ourselves, okay? We make sure everybody's plate is set and we're the ones standing up watching everybody eat. And we make sure we clean up the mess after that, 
All right, so we need to see that the table. It's time for us to sit down and eat as well. Okay, so have no fear. Black folks gonna make sure everybody's taken care of. Um, final thing is, black folks, we have an opportunity. Black Chicago, we have an opportunity. Okay, um, this this mayor is tangible. Okay, unlike President Obama, and not throwing any shade at President Obama, he, um, you know, I like this presidency. Um, I don't think he. It was it was more symbolic. It was more symbolic, and I'll leave it at that. You know, he didn't do anything against us. Okay, so we had eight years of uh, no policies being made against black folk during Obama's presidency. I can, I can say that, okay? But it was, it was more symbolic, okay? And how often do you get to go and talk to the president? You don't. The mayor, she's in our backyard. She's in our backyard. So it's time to uh, build relationships with our new mayor. It's time to build relationships. While we have all this representation, that's what time it is. Build a relationship with the mayor so we can start getting some things done. All right? And at the same time, because, hey, got to admit, I haven't seen Lori Lightfoot in the community, period. So she's got something to prove, too, before we, you know, invite her to the, to the cookout. And I think that's only fair. I think that's only fair. So we need to sit down at the table and figure out what we're going to do to move forward. Now it's time. Now it's time. All right? So with that being said, hey, congratulations to Mayor Lightfoot. Um, I'm wishing you nothing but the best. I would never wish any... Um, I would never wish that you would fail. Never. Never. I know there's people out there who are hoping that you fail, but I would never wish that you would fail. I wish you much success um, in your time as mayor of the city of Chicago. Um, it's time to get to work and make sure you clear your calendar because it's time for us to have a meeting. It's time for us to go to work. All right, everybody, let me know what you think um, about the mayor's uh, race and the uh, outcome of the election. All right. Hey, love somebody, but more importantly, love yourself. Again, congratulations to Mayor Lightfoot. Um, let's just see how this goes. All right. We got to put in work, Black Chicago. Uh, voter turnout wasn't huge, but we did come out. So we can't go back to bed. Just because we have a Black person in office doesn't mean. We're going to wake up the next morning and everything's going to be, you know, hunky-dory. Everything's going to be smooth. No. We got to put in the work as well. We got to meet the mayor halfway. All right? And then we'll work on our state reps, state senators, and city council. Because that's a whole nother story. All right? Love somebody, but more importantly, love yourself. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell. So you can see any time that I put out new content, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Peace.